2019. Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Okay, welcome to another, another episode of Motivational Monday, where each one teach one. Thank you once again guys for tuning in. Um, I have a special guest for you. She'll be coming on shortly. It's Lady Gypsy Lynette Seals. So we'll talk to her in a little bit. I was just giving you a little music from some of her big collaboration. And, you know, she has tons of music, all different genres. So we're going to talk to her in a little bit. So right now, I just want to say, Father, thank you that Jesus Christ is God, shepherd of the sheep that in him I have life and I have it with great abundance. Thank you, Father, for your son, Jesus. 
paid our debts at Calvary Cross. And now I am set free. Lord, open our eyes not to see the world more clearly, but to see you. Open our eyes to see the working around us in you. Help us to trust you in everything, even when we don't understand, to have you at our side. Give us the ability to face whatever comes our way. I pray for the unbelievers near and far. Open their eyes that they may see you and give their life to you before eternally it's too late. All praises, all honor, and all glory. I want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the hard-working moms out there who go out on a daily basis and, you know, you, you do it for the kids, you know, to make sure that they're okay and everything. Kudos to you. I hope that you guys had a blessed and wonderful, safe day out there. I show a lot of restaurants and things were booked up. But, you know, again, you know, it's just a blessing, all right? So this week, our word for this week is inspired. Of extraordinary quality, as if arising from some external creative impulse. They had to thank the girly for some inspired saves. So our word for this week is inspired. I hope that, you know, throughout the week, you be inspired by something special, right? If you have a birthday for the month of May, happy birthday. May God bless you to see many, many more. Peter Ray Blood, happy birthday to you. Much love, much blessing to see. 70 is a milestone, eh? So you rock, keep on rocking, Peter. All right, so I just have a little health tip for you guys today. And um, this is more pertaining um, for men. Because I always talk, so I want to talk to the men tonight, right? Eat fat to avoid fat. If you are working on getting leaner, don't cut out good, healthy fat, like omega-3 fatty acid. Lack of these nutrients can negatively impact the speed and how you age. To keep feeling and looking young, incorporate more oily fish, walnuts, and flax seeds into your diet, which also help the skin stay supple and wrinkle free omega-3 also help boost brain health and keep in good shape wash up before bed don't go to sleep without thoroughly washing your face over the course of the day your skin and pores collect dirt and oil if you don't wash it all off before you hit the, the sack, the dirt will clog your pores overnight. You will wake up with an irritated skin that is quite the opposite of a healthy, glowing complexion. Prevent injuries with yoga. Most yoga classes begin with a remedy to honor your body, particularly needs and the limit of that particular day. The basic ability to scan and access yourself as a practice will help reduce the indents of the injury when returning or playing with sports. Plus, flexible will stretch yoga muscles, can heal and recover more quality after working out and getting strained. Limit processed food. Hi, Jason. Jason, thank you for the roses. You may have to eat a frozen meal now and then, but don't make it a habit. Certain packages food can be loaded with sodium and other preservative. The FDA suggests sticking to no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. That's one teaspoon of salt. 
A typical frozen entry can easily pack more than 30% of your sodium intake for your, day, for your day. So check the label before popping open or putting it in your basket. Yes, Jason. Take health screening seriously. Cars get routine checkup. So do planes, right? So your body needs to get checkup. Don't wait until you have some kind of symptoms and unfortunately most disease are far advanced by the time one gets symptom. Schedule your annual physical with your doctor. Limit salt intake. All right. A lot of Americans out here have a lot of, um, they love salt. So limit your salt intake, guys, and, um, you know, try and eat healthy. And drink a lot of water. Water is always good, purifying. You know, it's always good to drink a lot of water, right? So how you guys doing today? You guys good? What about the mothers? How was your mother's day? You have anything to tell us before we start our program? I'm going to try to get my cousin now to come on. I'm going to play her music in the background. A little bit till I get it. Ready to set you up now? Okay, um, I'll send you the request. Gypsies, oh. Lynette Fields, it's a blessing God. to have your presence tonight, hanging and chilling with us. How are you doing? I am alright, just a little tired after Mother's Day. Wait, I'm not hearing you. One moment, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, one moment. Okay, you hear me now? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Just now I wasn't hearing you. Great, oh. great, great. I said, so I'm just a bit, happy. a bit tired. Yeah, I mean, what is it? Yeah. Come, come to the, come to the, uh, little left. Oh. Left, right. And pull you it down. Pull it down. All right, see that's your way. face. Nice. Right, yeah. Now I've seen you. Yeah. <laughs> How was your Mother's Day? Oh, very hectic. Lots of food, lots of drinks. I'm still kind of groggy. <laughs> From all the fun. <laughs> <country>. <laughs> all yeah. right. First, I want to say thank you for taking the time out with hanging with us um, on this special month, May month. And um, I say we honor in mothers this month. And I'm so happy that you could join us today. And I would just like to ask you a few questions, right? First, we're going to yeah. like to let everyone know, Lynette is my cousin and we are first cousins. Uh, my grandfather... And her mom is brothers and sisters. So we, if you yeah. look at the resemblance, we look, we look <laughs> alike. So you guys know, you can't hide, right? Blood can't hide. No way. Blood yeah. can't hide. No. For real. So I yeah. want to say, um, tell me what impact your mother had on you. 
Oh my God, girl, quite a lot because my mom was the first singer in our family. And, um, okay. And it, but it's in the genes because from generation to generation after her, she passed away in 2019 in, um, in um, Coney Island in my arms. I was singing to her and she just died. And um, wow. yesterday was a very hard day for me, you know, with all the memories yeah. of her come back. As I was saying, my mom was the first singer in the family. And then it came yeah. along to my brother, Gypsy, and then me, right. and then my daughter, Fian, you know, and it continues. Yeah. Yes. So, so, so how does it feel? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Now you go ahead. Yeah. How does it feel? I know that your mom instilled a lot of things in you. What is one special thing she left with you? To cook, girl. <laughs> You know, you know, you know, cousin, my mom came from Rio Claro area and it's there where we were all born and grew, you know. I live in Separia now, in Trinidad. And um cooking girl, I can I can almost I can say I can make almost anything. From right. Indian food. I think my mom made one of the best dal it ever had in this country. Wow. She that, yeah, she could have cooked a, a real, real nice food. Right. It's Thank sad you know. Yeah. It's sad to know, so, you know, that um people have to die, you know, and the grief that that, that children uh, uh, go through um when they lose a mom or a father, you know, it's sad, but life goes on and we have to face it because death is part of reality and um uh, our everyday living, you know, so hmm. it's hard yeah. to accept but what we gonna do, girl. Yeah. If we could have bring it, it, it back we do, we sure will, eh? Yes, I know. Hey, by the way, so, happy Mother's Day to all the, the mothers out there. I mean, to me, every day is Mother's Day, you know? You don't have, yes. like, one day is not... Every day is Mother's Day, every day. Because every day you have your children to see after, and they could be as yes. old as whatever they are, they may be, that is still your child. So, happy Mother's yeah. Day. Thanks. My mom always said that. She said Mother's Day is every day. It's not only every one day. day of the year. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. So, how do you feel to know you come from a family knowing that you know, Gypsy. First to begin, who gave you the name Lady Gypsy? <laughs> uh, Gypsy did. Yeah. Gypsy. Um, my career started at six years old when I started singing Parang in Rio Claro with um, Cecil Frentes, Rio Claro Parang Group. And at that age, yeah. I was a lead singer and one wow. of the baddest Marak Shaker you could find. And I still wow. shake the Marak. Because all cr across my house, you can look, you will find a Pia Marak. You know, right. and... Um, from there, you know, I, um, I, I, I went into Calypso at the age of 16, and I started singing with bands like Walkie Watkins, Trade Wind, a lot of bands. I passed through a lot of bands, you know, in my earlier years, before yes. I really, really settled myself into Calypso. And, and I have been singing Calypso now for the past 45 years. Wow, that's a long, long time, right? Long, long journey, girl, yeah. Yes, Paved the yes, way for yes. the younger ones now. Yes. So how does it in feel my to time know of, that in you... my... uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead. You were... oh, yeah, I was, I was going to ask you how, My how... time was, was mostly Rose and Francine and myself and right. Twiggy in those years. Twiggy. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So how, how does it feel to have a daughter, you know, number, you know, big soccer artist, you know, around? Well, that is a great, great feeling. And um, she get it both sides from her dad right. and myself. So, you know, right. yeah, she is good. She's a very good, very good performer, a very good yeah. singer. And a matter of fact, she is, I, I think she's one of the, the top female artists in Trinidad yeah. and Tobago in her genre yes. of music. Yeah. Yeah, her genre. Yeah, she's You're doing right. fine. She's great. Yeah. Right. Nice. So, I know that. You singing for a long time. What sacrifice you had to go through your career with? I know you have kids and different things. How hard was that for you? Very hard, very hard because being a single parent, having to raise kids and having to running up and down the highway at night to to be in the tent and all of these things and building a building a home for my kids at the same time as a single mother, it was not easy. You know, it wasn't an easy road, you know. So now that um, 
at this time in my life, I am I am 62 years old now. I'm very proud to say I'm 62. 62 young. And I can sit back. <laughs> I can sit back now and relax, you know, and um, and look at life, you know, and think about all the hard times were over, you know, like in the years when when we, where I live now, when I just came here 42 years ago to live, we had no water in those years. I had to go by the river and wash clothes and and you yeah, your juke clothes, you know, and today where we have life gets so modernized now that we have cotton coal, we have wash and dry and all of these kind of things, right. you know. So still yeah. but I you know, still but I will never, never, never neglect my past and what I've been through. The struggles as a as a woman, it yes. makes you at this age stronger. Yes, yes. And how do you feel being a mother? Because it has mother well, and it has mother, you know? Yeah, well, um, I was mother and father to my six children. Okay. Because I raised my six children all alone. Right. All alone, without father, because my my, my children's father, uh, um, and they were, I, I would not say I have a one child father. I got I got right. three children's father. Three baby daddies, right. I should call them. And, that's yes. what I mean. <laughs> and they, they, they never was dear for my children. It was only me, you know. Right. So my children know me as mother and father, you know. Right. Send all my kids right. to college on my own, mix the concrete, even my whole house. I tired myself with my two wow. hands. I plastered the walls. I made the garden, you know, to make sure that yeah. my children were okay. So Very it was my nice yeah. role, but it it it's a pleasure to see what yeah. they have be, what what they have become today. Come. Yes. And all six are alive, right? And well. All six. I got six grand as well. Nice. Yeah. Very Five nice. girls and one boy. Wow. You have a king between them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. My last yeah. kid, my last kid is a boy and a girl twin. Yeah. Wow. Still 23, almost 23, yeah. Wow. God bless you. Nice. Great, great, great. Thank you. So, how do you describe the kind of music you create? Somebody got to do it. Somebody got to do it. Because the way the way the Calypso art form get now, people like they scared to speak the truth. And I am not right. one of those kind. I am one that they ain't call me dragon lady for nothing. Yes. I am one person who is very plain. I speak plainly and whatever my mind and um I don't think nobody can write Calypso for me. Right. Because the kind of lyrics that I I do write. It comes from from within here, you know. Right. And if I see something is wrong around me, and I will I will talk about it, and that is how I am. Yeah. Right. But, um, the kind of calypso that have nowadays. You know, people like the people tend to be singing the same kind of topic, and there is so much thing out there to sing about. So many right. things to sing about. Right. Yeah. So you write most of your music or all of your music? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have rock almost all the, the only song I, I sang from somebody that was in 2014. I was in New York and this guy for a couple of years he been asking me to do this song and you know and I really and truly didn't want to do it, but he called me and he told me that he put down the tracks already in the studio. And when I went into the studio and I heard that song, tears fell out my eye, a song called Voice of the Aborted. That was a beautiful oh, yeah. piece of work, you know. Yeah. Right. From a guy called Tempo. Yeah, I did yes. that one. But all my songs come from the Melefan. Yes, very good. You have creating writing. You know, you're creative. Yes, of course. Yeah. So so give me an instance of you performing in Skinner Park. How does that feel? Scary. <laughs> yeah. It's scary. Anybody who anybody who will ever tell you. That they go to Skinner Park and they ain't get jitters. Uh -uh. They're not they're telling you a lie. Yeah. Because for any yeah. time, for any time you know if you next, your belly feel like you want to go to the toilet. Trust me. Yeah. You know, when you watch this massive, when you watch this massive crowd in front of you there, and you know you have to go and stand up there, but you see once you see that music embedded in you and you hear that first note, you're yes. gone. You know, yes. and after yeah. about a minute or, or two, you get settled two. in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Because I know the you know, South, once you hit San Fernando, Skinner Park, you know the toilet paper crew. 
Yeah, but that is because of politics. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I am the only female that ever go in Skinner Park and sing on the PNM and, 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 and people dance and wine, you know. That was in yes. um, 2017 when I sang Plight of My People. Yeah. Yes. Because people realized I was singing the truth. Right. Yeah, I was singing yeah. the truth. But you're and very outspoken. Still this before, at, at the fight. Uh, yeah. 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 And you're very outspoken and everybody know that. And people scared of you yeah. too, you know. People scared yeah, that's of you. Good. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> <rah. laughs> Here comes the dragon lady. And if yeah. people know how funny I am and humble, I am just a humble yeah. little lady. And very, very, I am not, I'm very quiet, you know. But don't choke me. You raise a Japanese and the Jap don't go down easy, you know. Don't right, choke. Right. You understand? Yeah. I don't like yeah. I don't like uh, unjust. I'm not a, a person who do not like unjust. I will stand up and fight for anybody. Once I see right. they being victimized, and that's me. Yeah. 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 That's my love here. Yeah. That, eh? yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Some people see you in your war in a war and, and they, they will just pass you by, you know, and somebody may be glad to see you in the position you're in too. No, no, but I'm, that right. is not of me. Yeah. Right. That is good. So if you can open a show for one artist, who will that be? Hmm. That's a very hard question here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know, you know, if I if I have that opportunity for myself, you know, it would not be for a Calypsonian. Yeah. Who would it, it would be? be for a Calypsonian? It would be for Patti LaBelle. Patti yeah. LaBelle. Because yeah. apart from Calypso, I am a very prolific rhythm and blues singer. That's what I do too. You know, like um, Friday night, I had a yes, show in San Fernando. And I did um, 20, about 23 songs. And they mm. still didn't want me to stop. They still didn't wow. want me to stop. Until a certain time, I sit down on the stage and I keep saying, oh God, I'm tired, I'm tired. I said, Beyonce, ain't gonna sing... All them songs and all you, you yeah. know what I mean? And I, I, and before I even finished, there was book for Father's Day in the same venue. Yeah. Wow. So what I do, I, I do a lot of old school um, rhythm and blues songs. Uh, one of my favorite songs that I love to render is A Change Is Gonna Come by Sam Cooke. So yeah. give me a little thing now. Huh? Give me a little thing. <laughs> if I still have voice after they don't, after they don't know where it's Friday. <laughs> I was born by the river, in this little old town, mm -hmm. and just like the river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. It's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die, because I don't know what's going on up there beyond the sky. It's been a long, a long time coming, but I know change going to come. Amen. Oh, yes. yes, we will. Yeah, yeah, you have voice, you know, you have voice. <laughs> yeah. I tell that you, Friday, really... they almost killed me. <laughs> well, when you're good, you know, that's how it is being, you know, when you're good, you know? Yeah. Um, Kathleen Thanks. is asking if you will perform for school. Um, can you yes, sing? Sure. She said, she said, can you sing for Father's Day online for a preschool? Kathleen Elvon. Um, um, oh, on Father's Day? Yeah, why not? Yes, sure, let's get contact me. Can you sing for Father's Day online for a preschool? Sure, I can. Just let her yeah, contact okay. me. Yeah, I'll let her, I'll let her, um, I'll let her contact. You know Kathleen is cousin too. Family, Django, that is yeah. Jan, okay. Auntie Jan's daughter. Yeah. All yeah, right, all family, so our, fam our family is so large. That you see right? a reunion and skin a pack full, you know. <laughs> yes, for real. Yeah. Skin a pack so full. Kathleen, I will give you her number and you'll call her, right? Um so yeah. what is one message you want to give your fans? Stay away from COVID. 
Don't go in no crowd. <laughs> Stay home. <laughs> Keep safe. <laughs> anyway, joke. I joke I'm making it. Eh? Because I know everybody have yeah. to live. And you have to go there. You have to face society every day. And um, think what, but to my fans out there who love me and to my fans who hate me, one love. <laughs> yes. That's what yes. I have to tell them. One love. One, one love. love. One I love. am a person who I'm a person who hates no one. Yes, hates nobody. Yes. Yeah. Love thy enemy as thyself too. All the time. Um, Kathleen is saying, let's plan a family reunion. I want to be in it. That's when all the planning is. I'll fly. Yeah, she, tell Kathleen that I said, run the Queen's Box of Honor. Hey, <laughs> Kathleen, you're hearing? Yeah. Run the How Queen's Box of Honor. How do you think impact you or your music? Girl, I think internet is a good thing, yes, because I with my iPad, I could sit on home, I could do a um, little melody, and I could do any little thing that I want to do, you know, and, and create a long time when you had a big table and spoon and all kind of thing for who can play an instrument. And the internet is a very good thing for in all aspects because without internet, now you can't even watch TV. You understand? Yes. Me? The way they create, yes. the way they create stuff now that you can't even watch TV. You understand? Without yes. no internet, so. It's, yeah, a, things, it's a good thing. Yeah. yeah. Things, um, things really, really change. change. Things yeah. change. The only thing I don't like about the internet is that um, children have access to phone and there's yes. a lot of porno on, on the internet and, and you know, and it, it changes the mentality of the youth now, which yes. is very sad. Very sad. Kids no longer play yes. and run and pick mango and different no, things. No, no, no. No, like long time, long time we we um we we used to be playing the yard and we had time for each other, you know, our brother and our sister, cousins, everybody, you know, telling stories yes. in the night and all that kind of thing before you go to bed. And but those days are gone because I've been on a train recently, mm -hmm. and I've been looking, and nobody had the head up. Yes, not a soul had the because head up they see they get train. caught up now. Everybody had the phone and everybody was just. Buried in the phone, so I, I sit down, so I said, hmm, hmm. You know, that's how the world is now, you know. Some people who walk the street with a phone in their hand and they don't even care if they stumble. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's what, they, that they, one aspect of internet and all that is bad, you know. No communication with, with, with people. You know, when, when, the good part of internet, too, long time if I had a call, if I had to get in contact with you, I had to write you yes. a letter and hope next three months. <laughs> Next three months, they are fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now, no matter where in the world, no matter where in the world you are, you know, like I watching you, how you sweating in Cancun the other day, and I said, oh, God, I could have been this way. You understand? Yeah. So I know you were having a yeah. ball there. Yeah. Yes. You yes. understand? Look, I couldn't see that unless you tell me. You might have write yes. me a letter and tell me that, you know, girl, you know, I was in Cancun. So, yes. in a way, it's positive and it's negative, too. Yes, yeah. it have its ups and downs. Yep. So I want to um, go back a little bit. I know you and Kenny was very close, and I know that was mm -hmm. a, a hard blow for you. I also know that yeah. you and Sandra was very close too, and that was very, yes, you know, watching your photos and seeing Sandra come down the, by you and you guys having a good time. Yeah. How are you coping now? How are you, how are you coming along? Well, girl, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not easy that I can't even look at them video, especially right. with Kenny, because Kenny yes. and I and Crazy did a, a song for Christmas Gone. I saw and, that one. Um, I was in I was in Washington during the um just during the Christmas before Christmas, I was in DC. Yes. And Kenny keep texting me and telling me as soon as I come home, come home by him and let us do additional version on the song. So when I came right. home, I told Kenny, I said, Kenny, I'm home. I reach home. So he telling me, come now, girl, come now, girl. And no matter what I do, like God just said, want me go by Kenny. Right. God just said, want me go by Kenny. And he telling him, I'm coming, I'm coming. Next thing I heard, that Kenny was in hospital. Well, girl, what, man? Yeah. I don't think Tarzan, Tarzan ball like me when Kenny died. Trust me. Right. For days yeah. I cried. I cried for days. For days. Oh, boy. It's sad. I yeah. was I was talking to Edwin Ayong and I was telling him, let us um continue with the song that we did for Christmas with Kenny 
they just add some more verses, you know, in, in honor of Kenny and um, yes, and, you know, and do another another part of it. So I'm hoping that he yes. will reply. So I say, I say, crazy answer, my yet. I say, my frightened to do this song, my Freddie dead now. <laughs> <laughs> You might say, not me and Lady Gypsy with that song, not me going and do no part two now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yes. Hey. Well, oh, I God. know. But it's sad to you see know. the way Kenny die. Eh? It's sad. It's sad to see the way he go. Sandra as well, too. You know, I think yeah. that line we had with Sandra, the line I had with Sandra, they, oh my God, that was fun. Really oh, they look like Ole had a lot of fun. Oh my God, we had fun. And not knowing is the last time yeah. I would see her, you know. Yeah. Yeah. May she rest in peace. She was a good soul. All the time, man. Eh? All the time. Um, but you know, I just wanna say you are doing a terrific job. And I mean, people or oh, I think that they need to honor you guys more, you know, especially the legend, the people who have been singing all these years. We grew up watching. Yeah, like you guys. we are icon, yeah. Yeah. But I, I look at that recently it. here when I was in um I was in Maryland when they had the award ceremony the other day and I or we, I was wondering why it is no female was honored on the male. Why? Yeah. yeah. There are people like Fr singing Francine. Well I mean Rose yes. get a lot of honors already. Singing Francine, yeah. myself, it have Twiggy, right? It have Joan Rowdy, it have Marvelous Marva, all of right. us from you know, I mean Tigress yeah. and Sandra came. A little way after me down the, in the era, but there were people there a long, long time. Look at me, I'm making 45, going on 46 years as a, yes. as a Calypsonian. And you're going to tell me that you all can't see no way that I could even get a spoon? Eh? Right. When, whenever, whenever I write a song and I have a good song to go in the Calypso Monarch, they always fighting me down, fighting me yes. down so I wouldn't get there. You understand? Yeah. In 2017, I had to take a lawyer, right, and fight to get in because they took a girl from St. Vincent and put her in the Savannah before me, you know. And they tied wow. me and all around with the same points. Me and all around wow. the same points, but they called something called some tiebreaker that I couldn't get in there. So if me and all around the same points, how come he inside and I out? Right. I know what the problem was. The problem was the song I was singing is on PNM. Right. You understand me? And then our rule book states you have to be a national of Trinidad and Tobago in order to enter the Calypso Monarch. But yet only had somebody from St. Vincent inside of there knowing that the person was not a Trinidadian and not even right. a citizen. You understand? Wow. So when I stood up when I stood up and I fight, they fight me down. But I won. Yes. I won. And I still went in there and beat Crocro and Gypsy, all of them. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's all the fighting fight that now went in there. Yeah. But but to me, I I kinda um make up my mind in a way that when I write a song now, I write right. for the people. I ain't right. writing no song for no competition. I get picked, I get picked. So I'm not putting right. my heart into it that nobody I owe for this over now. Because I don't see this whole calypso system is a kind of bias something. So, you know, right. you just do the music that you want to do and enjoy your life. Right. Once the people love your music, you do you happy and live like that. Well, you know, yeah. you always have a crowd anyway because you 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 could sing different things. You could not only sing Calypso. Yeah, I can you do could it, yeah. Yeah. I used to think about a singer. A singer is supposed to be able to sing any kind of music. You know what I mean? Not I've only been, I've been in the, um I've been in the Chutney Monarch seven years as a semi-finalist and can't make the final. That make me drop out. Because I have a lot right. of um, Hindi music and all too. Because I do sing Hindi too. Yeah. Right. So I've been I've been there for many years, you know, and I got so also with it and I Parang get... too, right? Parang okay. Soka. Parang, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep. For that, but, I walk many you know, roads, girl. Yeah, I know, I know, I know that you, you know, you 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 are, and I mean, you're a fighter, and and you know, they don't call it the dragon lady for nothing. You don't know. Yeah. Don't mess yes. with the dragon lady. Boom, ba <laughs> Do you want to roll it? Somebody say, yeah, somebody saying here, yeah, sing some Hindi. Just a verse or two for them. Tell them, tell them, tell them, wait, wait, Diwali coming. 
<laughs> Diwali coming before they will get it. Diwali coming. One of my favorite Hindi song is um Sohani Rat Wagal Chuki Na Jani Tum Kabaji. You know that one? Yeah, I, I heard that it song. already. Yeah. I love that song, girl. Love it. So if it wasn't in music, what career you think you would have been in? Hmm. Maybe I, I I had a couple of restaurants. Maybe I, I would have been um, a cook. A cook. But that's what I, I had. I had two restaurants in my life already. Um, yeah. But due to the frustration of waking up in the morning, six o'clock, you had to prepare breakfast. Then you had 11 o'clock, you had to try to see about lunch nearly done. And then in the evening, I used to do like 30 chickens a day for barbecue and all these things. It was doing fine. But you know, the yeah. stress, when I look at myself in the mirror, and I see one looking back at me, I know that wasn't me. <laughs> so I got rid of that part of my life. Yeah. I yeah. I became I became ninety-eight pounds, you know. Really? Yeah. One morning I, yes, one morning I woke up and I look back in the mirror. So you guys I used to open at six in the morning, close two in the day. Two um two AM. Yeah. Next, you understand me? So when I do so now when I watch back in the mirror in my water, when I see one watching back at me, I throw a bed over my mirror, you know. But I didn't want to see me. Yeah. Tigress says, yeah, stop became... calling my name. Tigress says, stop calling yeah, my name. Yeah, I became like a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that? The lady gypsy? Huh? Tigress says, stop calling she name. Tigress. <laughs> Die, my darling. <laughs> Die, my kudu. She knows yeah. she's my darling. Yeah. Yeah. Die, my girl. Die, my girl. <laughs> Kathleen is saying, Papa and Uncle Biggest. <laughs> Yeah, girl. That's my grandpa. Yeah. That's my grandpa, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this nose, girl. This nose. You see that nose? Yeah. This nose, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I again, want to girl. do a little trivia with you. It's called Ditch It or Keep It. Right? Yeah. All right. So is either yes or no. So you're ditching one or you're keeping the other, right? So okay. Christmas or Easter, which one? Christmas. Christmas. Okay. Starch mango or Julie mango? Starch. <laughs> okay. Borrow day or Republic day? Republic day. Republic day. Okay. Gulf City Mall or Trin City Mall? No mall. Ditch both. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a mall okay. person anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Barbados or Grenada? Grenada. I love Grenada. Mm -hmm. Love Grenada. Right. Right. Wild hog or deer meat? Wild hog, girl. Wild hog. Some good coconut Wild milk hog. and curry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Joanne say you're ditching it or you're keeping it. Okay, good. Pot bake or oven bake? Pot bake. Pot bake, yes. Sorrel or puncha creme? Sorrel. <laughs> I still have plenty bottles in the fridge from Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Jira pork or Jira gazette? Hmm. Jira pork. Jira pork. Jira okay. pork. Yeah. Sneakers or sandals? Sneakers. Comfort, right? Yeah. All right. Spinach rice or split peas rice? Split peas. Mm -hmm. Especially after that pig deal of coconut milk in it. I do, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Miaro or point fourteen? Yeah, boy girl is who we talking about, you know. Miaro, I, I want to go there from my bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Miaro is home. Are you home, you know, girl? I know, yeah. right? Yeah. Point could stay so. Joanne saying sandals or boots have to be her question. Sandals or boots? <laughs> well, Joanne know the answer for that. She <laughs> knows boots. Boots, because right? Because she knows I miss boots. She knows I miss yes. boots. <laughs> Pan music or R&B music? R&B. 
Okay. RMB. And, yep. And here this one now. Crazy or Baron? Crazy. Okay. That's my and darling. The last one, yes. And the last one is Skinner Park for semis or Dimash Graph. Well, the ones are singing, I go really rather the marsh grass because skin up his foot. <laughs> and you have to get yeah, to the marsh grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The marsh grass. Yeah. Always so we, get to know you a little, we get to know you a little bit with we ditch it or keep it, you know? Yeah. So what would you like to... The, the floor is yours now. You can talk. Let, let, let me hear something. What do you want to hear? I know. Sing, it, sing something for them now, you know? Or you could... You know, anything come to mind. Girl, what, what I can say, all I could, all I, all I can say right now is that um, the condition, I did, I, I've been out of the country since January. I came home two Tuesdays ago from Maryland. Right. You know, the kind of, the kind of crime that I am seeing in my country right now, it is kind of disgusting, you know, and um, yeah. I don't know what, what could be said, what more to sing. What I don't know what to say that that um nothing is being done a kind of way that to save people life. Imagine you have you open a little business trying to 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 find to help your family, right? Yeah. And then you closing your business and and two men or three men waiting outside it to kill you. There is no security for the poor. There is no security for the rich. There is no security for nobody. So it it right. Trinidadian Trinidad is becoming a scary place to live. You know? Yeah. And yeah. I don't know. Something has to be done. Something has to be done for this murder rate to, to, to go down. We, 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 this was never the way Trinidad was. I can remember yeah. a young girl. I could have go out there with my boyfriend and I passed two in the morning. You could have sit down on a little park bench and, and smoochy, smooch now, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, not again. Have nobody, everybody going them. No, no. No, it, men not safe, women not safe, children not safe. Look, look, the season looking for a two-year-old child. A two-year-old wow. child that walked away from home um, somewhere down in point. And, and right, right now they're searching for the two-year-old child because, like, somebody took up the child. And wow. he's somewhere. He had to be somewhere. He had yeah. to be somewhere, you know? So I just yeah. pray to God, you know, that something can happen in our country that, that when... You know, like he, like like how you out there, you know, your family is here that you don't want to hear no bad news. You know, no. that that your mom or, or somebody get but, rubbed but, in the pension but, and all that. Yeah, yeah, but just last week, my nephew, son, they killed him in um, Hoover. He was one of my nephew's son. And he was oh at the God. wrong place at the wrong time. They went for the next guy and he was with the guy. So they ended up um, shooting him and killing him. He didn't make it, you know? So, I mean, it, it, it's very sad with the crime situation. People themselves have to change. Yes, people have to change too. And I mean, you know, it's just, it's just sad. I mean, it's the time and day we're living in. And, you know, the crime is so, so gut-wrenching. You know what I'm saying? But. In all and all, I think we lose connection with um huh? I'm gonna call on WhatsApp and see. Um but you know, the crime rate, something needs to be done and, and they really have to do something about it in order to protect the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago. I mean crime is everywhere, but you know, it's every day is a murder. Every single day. Not a day go by that we we not seeing, you know. As Lady Gypsy say, no, no, you know, she hoped that something could be done about it. But then, I don't know, you know, it's the times we're living in. But um, we just have to keep on praying and asking God, you know, for to cover our nation. That's all we can do, right? But I hope you all enjoy our chat this afternoon with Lady Gypsy. I don't know if she lost connection and um you know I I really enjoyed this afternoon with her going back, you know, with the old Dan days and you know, it's just our vibes. We just vibes in and just 
you know, it's good to fellowship and it's good to just vibes, you know what I mean? Um, but as, as Lady Gypsy say again, you know, the crime rate, they really have to do something about it. But we'll see how that goes, you know, because government come, government go is the same thing. So I don't know. I don't really like to talk politics too much, but yeah, hope things get better, you know, because it's happening all over the world, right? But guys, um, yeah, I hope I'm trying to get get her back. Um, maybe it's her internet. I don't know. Um, the connection we lost her, but I guess I don't know. We lost her, but. Yeah, so I hope that um, the whole police department needs a makeover. Yes, yes, Kelly. Um, too much, I mean, too much corruption with the, with the police service. We know that. It starts with them, you know what I mean? And, I mean, it, it just... I have my opinion who should have been there, but they don't want that person, so you know how that goes. But anyway, so how was you guys' Mother's Day? What did you do? How did you spend your day? I worked. Somebody got to work. Then I went to Brooklyn and spent it with my rest of my family. Um, Mother's Day, as I say, is every day. It's not one day for me. And being a mom, you know, it's a, it's a blessing. Um, I am happy to be a mother. I'm happy to be a role model for my son. And I just keep trying to do the right thing day by day so that at least I can set, I can walk the walk and talk it and hoping that, you know, when he have kids, that he be the best father that he can because I was mother and father to him, you know? But um, for all the single mothers out there, know that you are love and we somebody got to do the job and it's our children so we have to take care of them we have to shelter them we have to protect them and always remember listen to your child um you know sometimes the way how we grow up this is a different generation we're dealing with so we have to do things differently we cannot be hasty and we have to give them a chance just to listen to their opinion. I'm not saying be rude. I'm not saying to take that type of behavior, but you could listen to them because they have a voice and you need to put down your foot and set goals and, uh, you know, make sure if you know you have younger kids, don't just put everything out there for them, even with your grandkids too. Let them work to earn stuff. I think they will appreciate things um, better. I think they will see life in a better light. And I think it will be setting them and protecting them for the world out there. You know what I'm saying? So we just have to always set good example for them. Your nieces, your nephews, we have to have respect for them, you know? And I'm not saying that we don't get tested, but we have to choose our battles. Not every battle is to fight. Not every battle is to fight. We have to choose it, all right? But, um, you know, I want to say, Lady Gypsy, thank you again for logging in with us and chatting with us and taking the time out to honor your mother who passed away. May God rest her soul in peace. For all the mothers again, we celebrate in May month having ladies on, honoring our mothers, honoring our queen. And to my mother, who is still alive, I know she hears about my program. She's not seeing well. I spoke to her. She's in good spirit. She's still in the land of the living. And may God continue to guide and protect her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. 
and giving her that voice and letting her know that she knows her children, she's not senile, you know, she knows our voice when we call, you know, she still have her strength and she's still there trotting until the Lord ready for her, you know? I want to say, Mom, I love you from everything. Words cannot express it. I am so proud to still have my mother around. I still call my mother for advice. I still like to lie down with my mom when I go home and spend as much time as I can, especially when they're going down in age. You know, it's like I told a friend the other day when I asked how, we, how your mom or your dad, he was like, oh, he. So everything went out. So, you know, anything happened on this program, she wants to say thank you so much, guys, for logging in. And she didn't mean to just go abruptly, but things happened. But we it, we did enjoy her. We did enjoy the song. We did enjoy hanging and lying with her. All right? So, guys, have a blessed, safe, wonderful week. Keep aiming for the stars. Know that you love. Tell somebody you love them. We up, new day in the land that you live in. All right? So have a blessed and wonderful and safe week. And just keep the faith. Don't give up. Love in your house. Peace out.